It's a good thing. An unusual hiding place for the Prince of Darkness. Don't you think? Zobek, where have you been all this time? And what of you? Why have you been hiding all this time? Gabriel. Don't you dare call me that. Isn't Dracul. What do you want, old friend? Satan's acolytes are readying for his imminent return. Help me stop him. Or you and I will become his favorite pets. For all eternity. Apparently he really misses fighting Zobak. He's reminiscing about it quite a bit. Yeah, I thought the second game was gonna take up, like... It was gonna pick up right after that extra ending scene in the first one, but... Apparently not? My expectations of what this game was going to be, not at all accurate, I think. Alright, so you get to walk around in a cape. like a, He took a curtain off of a window and just draped it in himself. All right, hey! Yeah, I'm not weird or anything. Not a diseased-looking old dude with Sephiroth hair and a red curtain around me. Nothing suspicious here, guys. Don't worry about it. Help me, and I can free you of your immortality. Oh man, I really missed that night. Uh-oh. This smelly girl can see me. Hello, smelly girl. Why do you have stink lines coming off of you? Hey. Where do you think you're going? Come here. Hey, hey! Excuse me. Excuse me. Could please get help you, sir? Does it look like I have money? I'm wrapped in a curtain. What? You look better off than me. What? Um, sir. Have mercy. I'm wrapped in a curtain. What kind of money do you expect me to have? I don't. <laughs> I don't get it. Here. Do some gear. Oh, gear? I want some gear. Hey, can I get some gear? What kind of gear you got? Nothing apparently. All right. That's cool. Guess we'll just continue following the smelly girl. Be nice if I could move faster than a zombie shuffle. Am I being lured into a trap? That could be bad. Oh no. What is that? Ew! That is disgusting! They show me that. I don't want to see that. Uh-oh. We're, we're kicking off the curtain. Alright, here we go. Oh, he's not that good at fighting. He is not that good at fighting right now. We we seem pretty gassed here, to be honest. Oh, yeah. We seem, we seem extra gassed here. Oh, my God. He is going to completely demolish me. Am I supposed to beat this thing? 
Like, he can't fight for anything. Look at this. I just got completely wrecked. By one random demon. I'll assume that you are not supposed to be able to kill that thing. Oh my god. Who the hell is this? And we pass out and he kills us when we're sleeping, so. End of the game. Okay, I was about to say, if I'm supposed to actually beat this guy... Someone brought me some lunch. Ah, what? What is this guy's problem? I'm about to eat every person in here. Oh, I am about to eat the shit out of someone. Mmm, tasty neck blood. Tasty neck blood, right? Oh, this is gonna be delicious. Oh, my. Good night, sweet daddy. Just drink his blood. Come on, drink his blood. Drink the child's blood. It's the freshest. That child has the freshest blood. Mmm, delicious. Oh, here we go. I am a killing machine at this point. Look at this. Oh, she's crying. Or bleeding. Or both. Oh, this is gonna be... Mmm. Delicious neck blood. Oh my... Okay. She aged very quickly after that. Aged extremely quickly. All right, I feel better already. Hey, can we kill the kid too? Come on. Let me let me eat this child. Ooh, the youth comes back. Well, they didn't they didn't show us, but we can safely assume that he did indeed kill the child. Which round of applause. Round of applause for killing children. Not really, but, you know. Round of applause, either way. Oh, what? Am I young still, or am I old again? Am I refreshed? Oh, I look pretty refreshed. Look at that. Look at that sexy laying right there. He's looking good. It pleases me to see you recovered, old friend. Yeah, I only had to kill a child and a woman. It was quite tragic, but I am good. Indeed. Oh, friend. No! Relax. Our guest is just a little confused. I know what he wants. You see before you... The legendary vampire killer. Your old weapon, if you recall. The only weapon capable of ending your immortal life. You thought it destroyed. But you see, you can have the eternal rest you crave after all. But first, you must help me. Prevent Satan's return to the world. Oh, that guy, Satan. Then, I swear to you, I will deliver the fatal blow to your heart myself. And I am sure you will fulfill that vow. Since you sent Satan back to hell a thousand years ago, his human offspring, or acolytes as they call themselves, have been dormant. I suppose that they, that all of us, feared your wrath and great power. But not now. Now, even my bodyguard is more than a match for you. 
The Acolytes know you are weak and are preparing for their father's return. Now they fear nothing. Don't they fear the mighty Zobet? Only you, in full possession of your powers, can defeat them. Follow me, please. All right, 10 bucks says we have to fight the bodyguard at some point down the line. That's my guess. He we looks must find and destroy the acolytes before they can finalize their preparations for Satan's return. It won't be easy. They govern the world of men from the shadows. Not even I know with any degree of certainty who or where they are. They won't come out into the light unless we can force their hand. Hey, achievement, random. The Acolytes must never know who hunts them down. The element of surprise will give us the advantage. Until you are at full strength again. And you don't know who they are or where they are. The hell, how do you fit that in his pocket? Do you know that this city is built upon the foundations of your castle? The Acolytes are focusing their attentions here for very good reasons. Satan has specifically chosen this place for his return. He means to enslave you first. To humiliate you for what you did to him. Let's get on with it. The Acolytes must plunge the world into chaos before Satan can be summoned. Their activities leave spectral traces, which are difficult but not impossible to follow. This is the headquarters of a powerful pharmaceutical corporation. Umbrella. I suspect that one of the Acolytes is operating from there. Damn, Umbrella. The complex was sealed two months ago and is protected by magic. <gasps> magic. If I were to use my powers to see what is happening there, they would be able to trace it back to me within a matter of minutes. So, I will send you to the corporation via a portal. But we must be quick so as not to arouse suspicion. The longer the portal remains open, the more likely we will be discovered. Look for any sign of the Acolyte, but be careful. What are you waiting for? I get my old outfit back? That'd be pretty neat. But like I was trying to say, that bodyguard looks way too strong for us to never fight him. Like, I'm 95% sure that we're gonna fight him at some point. He just looks like way too much work went into him to not fight him. Also, I have no idea how the game progresses. Like, in the first game, there was a level system. Where it was like, okay, you're in this chapter and there's like, you know, X amount of levels. Pretty sure they changed that for this game. I don't know exactly what they changed it to, if they did change it at all, but I'm pretty sure they did change it. And that was a whole lot of explaining. That was like two or three separate cutscenes that lasted a good 20, 25 minutes. That, uh, that was a lot of background story. Hey, cool. Kind of look like my old self. I mean, not exactly, but kind of. That's good enough for me. 
All right, you can now check your travel book. That looks like a C. Our travel book. This is your travel book map. Use it to find selector missions at any time. Main mission, I must investigate the Umbrella Corporation. So that's pretty much all I can do. Uh, this is the items page. Use it to find out what weapons, powers, and special uh, objects you have, which we don't really have anything right now. Lore. This is the lore page. Use it to find more about the inhabitants. Uh, Belmont lineage, Dracula, and there's us. Doobity doop, 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 doop. How long is this? Alright, cool. Uh, so Dracula, we got, uh, not even his descendants, the Belmonts, nor the innumerable army of the Brotherhood of Light. I've even come close to annihilating him. He is Dracul, the dragon, an immortal being whose cursed soul is condemned to remain trapped in the body of the vampire, bound to the castle for all eternity. From the beginning, the unbearable yearning for revenge has driven him along the path of ire and destruction, a path of infinite suffering and despair, a road that he would now like to leave behind. That's why the power of your god cannot destroy me, because I am his chosen one, Dracula 2014. Pretty sure that's how that went. And then we got the old uh, Brotherhood of Light, Brotherhood Soldier. I don't even know if people really want me to read these. I'm kind of interested in, like, knowing about them, but... I read all the other ones from the other game, I think. Let's see. The boys who prove that they are skilled enough with the sword are recruited by the Brotherhood of Light in their campaign against the forces of evil. Uh, the tough physical and mental training they are given makes them very efficient in close combat, providing them with ironclad determination. However, if their willpower is not enough, they wear full armor and carry large shields to protect their lives instead. As lower-ranking members, the Brotherhood soldiers are sent to their deaths by the generals with the sole hope of offering them a better fate than their own. Follow me, brothers, for if you do, you will meet a death more honorable than any you could imagine. Cardinal Vicus, Grand Master of the Brotherhood. And then we got a paladin. Those who aspire to be paladins are raised in monasteries, educated under the dogma of faith, and trained in the art of war. Their whole life becomes a test in which any mistake, as insignificant as it may be, leads to the complete failure of their mission. Only the purest heart capable of showing absolute determination and an unanswering faith will be recognized as God's chosen one. Beyond receiving the admiration of all and the favor of the Council of the Brotherhood of Light, the Paladins are rewarded with weapons and armor of gold forged by the best master blacksmiths from Angel Bones. Ooh, Angel Bones. Their aim from then until the end of their days is to serve God in the battle against the offspring of evil and guide their troops to victory. I was once like you. I was like you once, but your God showed me another path. Dracula. And then we have the Siege Titan, a.k.a. Blitzcrank. Man, look at this. So much background information. With the upsurge of battles between the Brotherhood of Light and the forces of darkness, the engineers of the Holy Order quickly completed the last great work of Gandalfi, the Blitzcrank Titan. It is a giant wood and metal automaton inspired by the stone giants that the forces of blah, blah, blah commanded in the Necromancer Wars. For over a decade, hundreds of craftsmen worked to complete the mechanism, powered by the divine energy of the gem that the priest placed in its head. In battle, it would be ready to use its enormous extremities, smashing a regiment with a single stamp of the foot, pulverizing the walls of the castle with its fists, and dispatching a group of soldiers inside. Its value in war was such that after that only after it was built did the Brotherhood decide to start the siege of Dracula's castle. One word is enough to set it in motion, destroy. And he is dead. And then we just have so Zobek's society. Zobek was... Together with Carmilla and Cornell, one of the old founders of the Brotherhood of Light who answered the call of God, leaving their darkest being on the earth, the Lord of the Dead, however, despite his absolute mastery of necromantic magic, or necromant yeah, necromantic magic, there you go, uh, could do nothing against the supremacy of Satan. Oh man, that devil, he is, he is mighty difficult to deal with. And his existence is, was relegated to the kingdom of the lifeless. Exhausted and humiliated, he remained hidden for an era, watching over the world of men through his countless spies, extending his influence and preparing his return. When he learned that the power of Dracula had weakened enough, and that the arrival of Satan was near, Zobek materialized once again on Earth. He left behind the arrogance of his past to take on the role of an influential businessman, and he blended in directly with society up to the present. Now he has a new plan, a perfect plan that will pit his two worst enemies against one another, leaving only he, Zobek, to become lord of all once and for all. You can have the eternal rest you so crave after all, but first you must help me stop Satan from returning to the world. And for that, this is my promise to you, old friend. Zobek is shady as fuck. And we have Zobek's lieutenant, his bodyguard. No one knows the identity of the man accompanying the astute Zobek in his crusade for power. It is rumored that he wears armor forged from metal extracted from the abyss, and that he adeptly brandishes a, a mystical sword by the name of 
Masu, oh man, I cannot pronounce that, damn it. Masumune, Masumun, yeah, that, capable of going beyond the material realm. Something like that. Uh, some records indicate that he is the spirit of a damn general, others that he is a demon that must pay a debt to death. However, the most popular story is that is the one that classifies him as the result of the necromantic reanimation of a legendary warrior. After all, it would not be the first time that Zobak used witchcraft to create a powerful armed guard. Zobak sent me, he feels you might need my help, as you are still weak, and I believe that's pretty much it. I know that was a lot of boring stuff, but it's kind of interesting to me at this point. I read, I read much of it. Uh, the skills page. Use it to buy new skills. Alright. Uh, basic, let's see, mastery level. Holy shit, what is going on here? Uh, shadow Whip. Use it in combat. Okay, so... I don't have anything to upgrade right now, so we'll deal with this stuff later. We'll actually get to some gameplay. Holy shit, some gameplay. 